So the question is, uh, what's the nature of the universe that we live in? I am uh, reading a book recently uh, from uh, Joel Premack and Nancy Abrams. Joel Premack is one of the preeminent uh, cosmologists of our time and was one of the authors of the Double Dark Theory of uh, Matter. <coughs> he is an astrophysicist and I'm reading his book right now, so here, you know, on, on the uh, iPad. And basically he says, and everybody else says that, 70% of the universe is dark energy, 70%. This energy is separating space uh, between the galaxies at the cosmic horizon 47 billion light years away, faster than the speed of light. We don't know what this is though. Um, then 25% is cold dark matter. Cold dark matter is matter which has gravitational effects. It, it holds the galaxies together as a unit, a galaxy together as a unit. And although cold dark matter <coughs> has gravitational effects, it does not emit light, absorb light, or reflect light. All the light does curve around it. If you have two big chunks of dark matter in a galaxy, two big chunks, they go right through each other. Uh, we have no idea what it is. You know, there's something called WIMPs, uh, weakly interacting uh, particles. Um, and these are supposed to be the basic units of dark matter, but nobody knows what these WIMPs are. Invisible atoms in interstellar space uh, are about 4%, so that's 95% plus 4%, 99%. So that leaves only uh, 1%, okay? And of that, hydrogen and helium is 0.5%, um, Then there's a little bit of uh, uh, stuff in interstellar space, which is uh, radiation and uh, uh, stuff that hasn't formed into stars, but all the visible universe with all its galaxies and uh, solar systems and stars, billions of stars, trillions of planets is 0.01%, 0.01% according to this pyramid, 0.01% is the visible universe, okay, with everything that's in there. And that, of course, includes you and me and the computer through which I'm sending this information to you and uh, you at the other end receiving this information. Where does consciousness fit into all this? Well, consciousness is an activity of all of this. So the universe has become conscious, self-aware in us, in that little... 0.01% of the visible universe of which sentient beings like you and me must be 0.00001% or some infinitesimally small amount. And yet, this is the conscious self-aware universe, the conscious self-aware universe through you and me.